in a world where decency is out the window and the country is divided. Barely Human takes on topics of all kinds with no filter. This isn't your sister-in-law Karen's podcast. Unless she likes good style, swag, and amazing beers. Now, here are your hosts, Mike Reeves and Matt Ben. Yadig. Guess who's back? Back again. Barely humans back. We're here, bitches. Tell your friends. Whoa. Share the show. Share, share the show. Yeah, share, like, subscribe. <sighs> We're back, dude. Feels e- good. Easter weekend. It is. Yep. Good Friday was yesterday. Yep, it was a good one, right? It was decent. All right. Did you watch any basketball? Did I watch anything last night? No, I work. <laughs> yeah, I was up at 2.45 <laughs> this morning. Got done, and now we're live. Worked out perfect. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Ep- episode four. Yep. Round, mound, mound yeah. chrome dome. Chrome dome. Yeah. Just a lot of controversy in this show today. Just a lot. Pat, Pat Beverly called out Charles Barkley, hence yep. the name uh, Round Mound Chrome Dome. Tongue twister. Yeah. Right? Said the team was making the playoffs. When I got here, I've accomplished that. Now we've got work to do. I don't know why Charles is laughing for us celebrating, saying we act like we won a championship. The hell does he know that Round Mound Chrome Dome looking ass know about championship celebrations? I don't, I don't see, see a ring, ring on that. Finger. That was a great win. We're going to get into some Wolves Love it. basketball here Howl. soon. Howl. But let's get in to the show. Yeah. Check, check. Little Mike check in. Yeah. What do you got for us? Man, I'm just trying to think what has been going on this week besides. I feel like every week just blurs together. So right now. That's life. Yeah, exactly. Our Our side of the family is working on gearing up for the. The May wedding coming up quick. Yeah. First week in May. So you got a May and then we have a June. Then we got a June for GBG. Yep. Reverend Reeves. Yep. If you need a bless him. If you need a reverend for a, a wedding ceremony, I'm your guy. I still think you should put something on Craigslist. I bet you. I told you I should make a face a public figure Facebook LLC. page. Why don't or why, why can't you just LLC it? Why can't you just Well LLC is the hustle, a big though. deal. Once I get this one under the books, I'll have you take some snapshots, some head shot collar, yeah. some headshots. We got a camera for it. You know, we'll have the beard on point, the tats just flowing, I the prayers know. just. You might want to have one headshot tattooed, hipster, just, and yep. then the next headshot is straight up. Right. You know. Holy. Pastor Jeff. Like, yeah. <laughs> business casual. You, you know. But I'm always going to have the collar. Is that so? I told Taylor you were rocking the collar, and she was like, "Yeah, it's in. It's ordered. She I got was it." Like, at- really? I'm like, "Well, yeah, he's he's ordained." Right. I'm a minister. So. <laughs> I'm of the. There is such a. I'm fine of line. the cloth. Is it though? I feel like it is. I mean, I feel like. Well, I don't know. I don't know what entails becoming. Can I father. baptize kids? You should get it on the bapcoozy. Yeah. You know. I should talk to Jeff. Jed needs to step aside. Yeah. <laughs> Mike's here now. All right. I found my collar. Oh, we're the collar and everything. Yeah. What are you guys doing tomorrow then? So getting the kids, we're having Easter brunch at the depot. The Barn. hunt? Are you going on a hunt? The hunt was probably going to be outside, and now with the weather, it's probably going to be What's the weather inside. forecast looking like here? Uh, in Minnesota, Cold? where we're at, 30s, 40s, and potential snow. We're probably going to get snow today. I would still go. I'd go. So... You got a hunt. The Easter so Bunny. Indoor? The Easter Bunny, a.k.a. Kim Reeves, already gave got me the, the eggs. House. And it's got cash and change. Yeah, that's how my grandma did. So I feel it. like if I leave it outside before I get the kids and we go to brunch, yep. the potential of it blowing away in the wind, somebody walking their dog and grabbing it, the odds are down. And if it's really cold and miserable, nobody wants to stand out there and watch. You guys are soft. I would potentially. This you is know, a Minnesota Easter dude. Yeah, well, it is whatever. a colder than average April. That's for sure. So I, uh, I failed. No, well, I failed God. Proud of you actually saying that. I did. Oh, on your Lent. Yes. Well, you didn't make it this year. I didn't. That's did right. you? No. Eleven <laughs> days. Eleven days. No meat. So it, it went to that hell. Wild. When I had the volleyball tournament, the volleyball I was doing good in Hutchinson. Yep. Yep. So and we then you got crippled. We, we go. Yep. But prior to that, we go out for breakfast. 
Yeah. And I'm doing good. Don't even think about it. We're getting eggs. They're like, we're famous for our cinnamon rolls and whatever. Okay. Oh, yeah. Got a cinnamon roll. I'm eating it. I'm like, I gave this up for Lent. After that, the wheels fell off. Oh, so you're trying was... to pull the, the rum cake excuse, basically. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, I went I to a party and I had a slice of rum cake. Well, looks like I relapsed. I guess. Oh, well, that's all right. Yeah. Good for you, dude. I didn't You lasted pretty long. Now, but, my big question is, did you lose any weight by giving up candy or did you just fill it with i don't know i wasn't tracking you know what i mean yeah but i am back in the gym but now you're eating candy on the grind no i'm not it's not back to the same old thing i just oh you're just a weekend warrior now no but i'm back in the gym i'm trying to get my life back i can't talk shit dude (sighs) i can't yeah you're paying for a membership you don't go to bucks a month man so but I did uh, something else very exciting yesterday. Uh, Dynasty fantasy football. Maddie oh, and I are yeah. we're in a league, and uh, I'm going to tell you what this guy right here he helped me win. Jamar Chase. He helped me win a, a championship. Yes, he did. Put a ring on it. I traded him. What? Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh he puts the goggles on. For the gritty. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> You wanted a little purple. I did. Well, little what do you taste. think? What do you think about little that? Taste. I think it was uh, highly controversial, um, just because Peeper. What were you thinking? Well, what are you doing? He called. You got me. the man. You got. JJ. You got JJ. That's the thing about fantasy sports in general. Is it's yes, you want to win. Yeah, he. I it's about it. having fun. I get it. I got. I got Chase's helmet out there signed. I get the. I I'm get gonna have to why, buy a jersey. I get now. why you'd want one. And you know, Peeper had JJ last year, right? Or did he no, he this just got him. This so season. he didn't even park it in the garage. No, nope. just drove it down the block. Said, "Here, dude." His I neighbor, yeah, flashy neighbor, said, "Hey, I'd like that. You like yeah. my Ferrari?" He's like, "Yeah, Rambo. I want the, or the one that just won a the, a championship." Yep. In the in the tour to the football, you know, I got the ring. So that's basically Good for you, dude. That's all I needed. It's it's an investment. So yeah. Good. Happy Easter. That was pretty cool screen thing. That was cool. That was for the fans. We're upgrading That's here. That's for the fans, dude. We got the lights on. The lights are on and paid for. We got... Oh, look at this. Dude. Yep. It's basically how it's supposed to be. The, the new art. Would be different. I'd yeah. like you to comment on the new art. Well, yeah. It's I very think. controversial. It is. Purple Rain is gone. This is our new mainframe uh, art piece. We are a live interactive show, so feel free to comment. If you I, want. Yeah, if you want. Share the yeah. show. Text uh, us. Go ahead. Yeah, shoot us a text. We'll look I at our phone. Fuck. You know, thank you to Bricks Boatworks yes. and Absolute Sports Cards. Yes. Uh, they're the mainstay. They're the sponsors of the show. And uh, we couldn't do it without them. But we're going to talk about some disgusting people here next. Disgust. Barely human. The title of the show and also the title of this segment. Yeah. I got a real grimy one. Go ahead. I was a cat owner. Very briefly. Very briefly. Jeez, Skip. Fucking crazy. Yeah. You know, I, okay. couldn't, I couldn't do it. I had to, I moved into a new place, couldn't have him, but luckily he stayed in the family. So this okay. barely human is the cat abandoner. It happens every day, Donnie. Oh, I wish I had the picture for it. Why? I so don't see Pickering that. Animal Services is looking for help to find the person who abandoned a male cat in North Pickering on the side of the road. It wasn't just... A cat on the side of the road. It had his scratch pad, his kennel, all his belongings oh, on the side of a highway. So this so picture, sad. you just see this kitty with, they literally yeah. threw him in the, the back of the pickup. He's lost. Grabbed all of his stuff. He doesn't know how to fend. He could fend for himself, but still. They don't know. It's neglectful. It's, it's inhumane. It's, it's barely human. Oh, it was disgusting. shit. I hope they find him. I hope he rots. Yeah, they will. They'll figure it out. I hope so. Can't, cats can't talk, so it'd be, it's going to be tough. They have no leads currently. It's almost as bad as you just throwing them at your fucking old ex-wife, oh. you know? <laughs> Jesus, poor he Skip. He stayed with the kids. Oh, God, Skippy. poor Skip. All right, I got a, a multitude, a group of people. Oh, he always it's does. It's the Twitter cesspool. Woo! Holy shit. The, so earlier this week, I retweeted a poll showing uh, DeSantis over Trump. Right. Basically, you have two options. Who would you prefer in 2024 out of the Republican side? And it was DeSantis by a landslide. 72% of the 111,000 people that took the poll, 72% said they would rather have Ron, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> this well, is I your... to, uh, first name slipped me there, but that's right, right? Ron, yes. Ron. Ronald. All right. I don't know if it's Ronald. That's Ronald. all right. It sounds better. You know, more like Reagan. More presidential. You know what I mean? Right. Ron. Ron. Ronald. Yeah. So anyways, I got bombarded. Now, I'm kind of a Twitter influencer, right? I got, right, I got a nice little follow. Barely like, bends, you can Barely bends, that. follow me up. But, okay, usually it's mostly people that I fuck with that are, like, liking or retweeting or commenting. This time, they came out of the woodwork. You messaged me immediately. I said, dude. They're after me. I said, dude, my phone won't stop. <laughs> and these are some of the comments that were left. Ooh, yes. Uh, God forbid, neither... Yes, because that worked out so well before. And then this was the good one. Biden 2024. Ooh. How can you say Biden 2024? And this is where I got after him. You know, I had one lady tell me, you know, some shit, and her picture was her with a mask on. Yeah, yeah. And I said, I Joy, on her. I said, mask up, Joy. And, you know, now I see how if you were a celebrity and you posted something, you can see where these trolls and this – Come out of the woodwork. They come out, dude. And they just, they try to attack. And it's like, dude, you're. What I, were the analytics? How many people did it? 111,000 people took the test. Okay. No, on your tweet alone. Oh, I think there was 150 likes and 100. Didn't it reach uh, like 30,000? Oh, yeah. The reach, how many people saw it was nuts. Like 50,000 people saw the post. That's great. So that's great. But it's unfortunate they can't do it when we share the the, the show. Yeah. It's like, a, why can't it's a go, Twitter. Why can't this go viral? Right. It could. We're very, we're more controversial, controversial than a tweet. But... Than a poll that I didn't even set up. Right. You just shared the I poll. I just shared it. I just shared it. That's it. So fuck you, left. Wow. The far left, I should say. Far left. Far left, yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll Barely meet you, humans. We'll meet you in the middle. You fucking scumbags. <laughs> Centrist fox. Okay. Yeah. Let's get over to some, some good, good shit. technology dude it's just the good human it's good the, human it's i'll best. go first this time okay so we got ryan hartman wild oh. forward did you hear about this they don't even know so, who he is ryan hartman well that's sad you need to be watching the best team in minnesota. i'm not woke on hockey the i'm best sorry best team in minnesota you should be following the wolves how uh, 2 30 today not how it works but yeah the wild is the best team uh, in minnesota right now no the timberwolves are the best team how? in minnesota because they're in the playoffs so are we no, you're We're in the, the regular second season. best team. You're in the regular season currently, correct? It's almost there, dude. Oh, oh, oh! They didn't. The have Wolves to... are in the playoffs today. Anyway, are the Wild Ryan in the Hartman. Season? We're talking about the ah, good human. Jesus. Ryan Hartman was fined four thousand two hundred fifty dollars for flipping off a of Vander Kane. That's a nickel. Okay, that he just flipped him the bird. Okay, okay, flipped him dirty the bird. bird. After they scuffed it up, fucking flipped it. Yeah. Down. So what a Minnesota nice. We set up a fuck. We find his Venmo and we start shelling him. The fans. Ten bucks here. Thanks for the bird. Yeah, we stood up for him. Evander Kane's ex-wife sends him 200 The guy he flipped off? Yeah, says keep it up. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> so anyways, Hartman says he's not going to pay the fine with the, the fund. He's going to donate that to Children's Minnesota. As he should. That's great. It's over $20,000 right now already. God. And, uh. Yeah, it's just overall a good, good story. You love to see it. Evander Kane, if you don't know about a hockey player that's a piece of shit, look up He's his story. it? Yeah, I mean, just a gambler, burned his life to the ground. Crazy shit. But yeah, way to go, Ryan. That's better than mine. Oh, I bet Talk about bad. the far left. Uh-oh. My good human, Elon Musk. He's been, he's been a regular part Elon! of the show. He's back. He's trying to buy Twitter. Oh, Is right. this his podcast? <sighs> Basically, oh he might, God. hopefully, be, if he becomes a sponsor, we're leaving your house. Elon, so I'll tag you on Twitter. Elon. Yeah, so the Twitter radicals, meaning the board of directors, they're trying to feed him the poison pill. They they did. They did. They declared poison pill. They declared it. They're doing it. Yeah. So it's going to be a tough battle for them. They're done. But, because the crazy part is Elon's already got a plan B. None of us know what that is. No. But most likely it's setting up a social media network. Yeah, but that doesn't work. It does if you're Elon. That's the problem. It yeah, does I if don't you're know. Elon. They a said lot. it about Trump. Tesla. Trump tried to they do it. it. Didn't oh, work. Well, yeah, but Trump is Trump. Your boy, my pillow. I think made one. No, but a lot didn't of people work. have done it, but they don't have the following. You know how many people would go over to something like that? Yeah, it's tough to crack 
the Twitter and the Facebooks. And easy the, peasy, lemon squeezy. If you uh, come up with something stay tuned. close we'll enough, you can do it. But good for him for trying. What do you mean? He's gonna, he'll end up doing it. I just hope he gets it. Yeah, the crazy part is he was majority owner for like a day. A day. And then, and then the dude that owns basically every other media outlet jumped up. Yep. He's at like 10.4, so, the new guy. Yeah, so it's all shit. But fuck him. It's getting close, dude. I'm telling you this right now. The smartest thing for Elon and a guy like Rogan or any of those guys that have the pull like that is to nominate their own presidential candidate. Yeah. Which, the people's which might. candidate. Bust everybody else because you can't really support somebody on either side because they're going to be blackballed. They're going to be blackmailed. They're, they're not going to become. If the party says, here's our people, Republican. If the people say, yep. this is our nominee. I like it. Boom. That's good news. I love that. That gets me fucking a little hard. <laughs> oh, I just think about the freedom. He's like love it. three inches from me half hard. That's right all right. Now. God. Well, let's get that. <laughs> let's get that boner down and talk to the sports. Oh, that was God, those transitions. Wide those world of sports. Sports. Yeah. Sports is your whole life. Sports. Love it. Did you hear about the goat? Not the one kenneled out up back Tom? here. Tom. Thomas. So Tom had uh, plans when he retired. Sure he did. That racism well, ended. First plan probably wasn't for Adam Schefter to break the news first. Yeah. That's probably one. I'm surprised he's not canceled That yet. fucking piece of shit. God. He, uh, he's uh, he's under a rug. Don't even get me started with that <laughs> fucking guy. Between him and Lavelle oh, and the third. Oh, my God. Former guest of uh, Twist. So he was set up to be a mi- minority owner of the Miami Dolphins. Ah! That's the dolphin noise. Is it? Ah! it? Sounded like a bird. Oh, ah! that's what they do. Ah! Okay. Yep. He was going to have the same type role as like Jeter. Sure. Okay. Yeah. And no uh, way? then Flores came out with the lawsuit the d- same day. So it sounded like the Dolphins were going to bring him on as a minority owner, front office deal. They were going to bring in Sean Payton, another white man, as the head coach. So Very two pale. two white men. Pale taking over man. the Dolphins, basically, as white as you can get. <sighs> no swag. Nothing. And so he backtracked a little bit and said, you know what? I'm just going to go yeah, toss I think the biscuit when, you a know, little bit you, longer. You sit at home for a couple weeks, and you really – you go on your first vacation with the fam. You come back, and you just hear them in the background. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they're kids like that. And then fucking, you know, then you get like a Mike Evans knocking, calling you up. Hey, what's up, bro? Want to go go out? Throw throw the old skin around? (laughs) Then he, you know? It's exciting stuff. It is. Good for him. But he's back. I'm excited that he will. That's a smart thing for him to do. You should always get in as much as you can to try to purchase whatever you can of a sports team. Right. And I I think he probably will. Like Patty Mahomes to get in where he got in with the Royals. Yeah, smart. Brilliant. I mean, he'd got almost a billion Brilliant. dollars, so. <laughs> Set it off. Yeah. Don't need it. Speaking of somebody else who tosses the biscuit, very controversial news going on right now in sports. Yeah. Clayton Kershaw. Perfect game. Against the Twinkies. Yep. Had a perfect game. Yep. Seven innings. He 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 had he pitched a perfect game for himself. Yep. Got yanked. Yep. What are your thoughts? It sucks, but it's got to happen. First game of the year, especially with a guy like Clayton who's older and has had elbow problems, and he is one of their aces. Yeah. I have him on my fantasy baseball team, so I get it. Ugh. I get it. But still, you first game of the year, you just don't want to blow it out. Plus, he's going into the next game and the next game with that confidence. For all the baseball historians out there, perfect game is rare. Yep. Super 23 rare. in Super the rare. history I get it. in the history of baseball as a fan 314 no hitters as a fan i want to see it as a as a as a business looking on the business side i see why they did what they did I 23 he could have been number 20 if he was at home doesn't matter yes it does in the warmth at home instead of you being at target field up. in the cold oh. i'm telling you right now the baseball the baseball stadium should have been indoors and the football stadium should have been outdoors you know what else is on tv today besides for the wolves the usfl premieres Tonight, the what? At six thirty, the USFL. USFL. Who's in it? Give me a name. I couldn't. I looked. There's got to be a name. I looked it up. I know there's somebody. Isn't uh, Manzel? No. He was on the Wichita. Somebody's in it. Nope. There's no, no big names. 
So why I, they even I think that? maybe big coaches. XFL is going to be back next yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. You hear who's one of the coaches? No. Wade Phillips. Oh. That guy don't die. No, oh, he's old. He don't. So you're not going to watch ever. The USFL? Yes. Well, you got to build a brand. You got to build a name. You got to make yourself basically the minor league or the G League. You, We've talked about that yeah, before. Yeah, no, I mean, if there's no connection to fantasy and there's no connection to the real NFL. life NFL, yeah, sorry, I might not watch. I might just just bunk. I might just it's watch. Not even like it's like watching D three football to watch. You so know. there's a viral video going out right now from 2018. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna Sebastian Studner. Studner, I heard of her. It's a guy. Imagine that from Says Germany. You. you gotta look it up. It's on Twitter. This dude rode 115 foot wave surfed saw it, it. Yep. surfed it yep saw it insane wow. i had to do some research because i watched it and i'm like this is fake no dude it wasn't i didn't even know waves could get that big oh, and this yeah. dude he's got to have the biggest cock on earth i don't know not true those i think swimmers so. those swimmers are just he's not a swimmer he's a surfer he's well yeah, you hang 10 bro i don't know dude i don't know to get up and do that yeah, I don't know. Not if I, to think about. Do you go in I the could, ocean? I couldn't even stand on a cliff. You go in the ocean? Yeah, I've been in the ocean. You go? Out go there where you can't touch. I'm in Minnesota. I understand, but when you take yourself to the ocean and you go yeah. out there, you go on. You know, I swim to the untouch, untouchable area. Because some people don't. And then swim back fast. I'm not okay. a big fan of sharks. See, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, you just got to go like it's a regular. Beach I don't here. know. I can't stand up. I can't skateboard. I longboard. <laughs> I bet I bet you do. What's next? What do you got? The Wolves. The playoff preview. Yes. 230 today yep. against the Memphis ja. Grizzlies. Ja ja. Yep. Ja. Yeah. Against Ant Man. The 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 what did they say? The matchup of swag. So you That's what they fell said. asleep in matchup the play in game third quarter. third quarter. Up. Down. Up. Down. Hell of a game. Hell of a game. I was I was up and down, out of my seat, yelling. It's a playoff game. It was a playoff it's game. It's a playoff game. It was phenomenal. It's a playoff series, a one-game series. Do you give us a shot? In this one? Yes. Sure. This is probably the only round that went. But, yeah, this yeah. is a winnable. It's nice to it's be back. Not, they could come out and just sweep our ass. They, they could. could. I haven't seen enough of them, but I feel Dude, like we're matched. They're good. They're a two seed. So are we. I'm not saying we aren't. And we're flashy, and we got hot at the end. Yeah. So that's the most dangerous team. The ones that get hot at the end. Watch That's out. what it's all about. Watch out. Good for them. 2.30 today. Yeah. I tell you what. I'll be tuning in. You, you should. This is my favorite. Nah. One of my favorite segments. You just like the name. The name is so You, ca you came up. Crackle you're pop, like, babe. oh, we can't do the same one. You're going to love mine. Go ahead. Start you're going to love it. So... As you know, Barely Human Nation, uh, Walking Dead is one of my favorite shows. Uh, the finale of part two of three parts was just last week. Hold on. Start over for the kids in the back. What? So it's the, the, end it's of the final season of The Walking Dead. Okay. So they're breaking it down into three parts. Okay, like Ozark. Like Ozark. Okay. It's, okay, it's, basically, it's basically two so seasons So the second long. part. Is over. Oh, so we're last part. Well, that'll be coming in a couple months. But I did some research. Yeah. There's a new spinoff coming next year. Is that just year. some fucking Onion article or what? No, it isn't. What the is show it? expected out in 2023 will center around characters Maggie, for all you Walking Dead fans, and that. Negan. I don't know who that is. They travel to Manhattan where they've been cut off from the mainland. The crumbling cities filled with the dead. And denizens who've made New York City their own world full of anarchy, danger, beauty, and terror. AMC said in the news release, it'll premiere both on AMC and AMC+. Plus. Now, they've come out with two spinoffs prior. Beyond The Walking Dead is a bunch of kids I've tried. Fear of. And Fear of, which I'm in. Oh. But it's brilliant that two of the biggest characters in the biggest show... They're it's spinning this, off with It's them. this whole universe shit that you guys like. I love it. No. Yes. It's weird. But that's good. I get it. <sighs> Great news. Breaking news. Yeah, I get it. And you know, the uh, we're cool not breaking about, it, but the cool thing about what, how you like that is like I like podcasts that are in like similar universes. 
So like this podcast and these guys and these guys, they're all friends. Yeah. You know what I mean? Universe. I just dropped the phone. Pulled you did. Out. Well, you just watch podcasts all yeah. the time. I like to watch literal shows. Sure. I get into my, my groove. I, I you know, want to sit on the couch. I want to watch my shows. Yeah, that's good. And that's what you I want to do. You have an attention span. I do. I don't. Well, then that's why podcasts are probably good yeah. for you. What I do just, you got? Snap, crackle, pop. Oh, yeah. What do you got? Culture. Can Biggest, you even read that? Jesus fucking size three font. Usually make it Usually a little Usually I change it, but I didn't want to see it. Oh, okay. Element of surprise. This is a good one for you because you're a fashionista. <laughs> oh. You like to stay high and tight. You think I'm not? Okay. So these are going to be your... Hot trends for the men Ooh. this summer. This summer. This is a hot trend. Okay. Cardigan coats. So a sweater with the pockets, maybe three buttons on it. They're okay. a little longer. Yeah. Knitted for the summer with shorts and stuff like that. Okay. I've done okay. that. I pulled Cardigans. That off. Sleeveless shirts in this year. Sleeveless They're back. shirts. I'm out. You don't like this. You we like talked tanks. about. I like tanks. We talked about that last night. How about this one for GBG? It's in. The skirt is back. The skirt. For men. What? That. It's a men. Okay. Skirt and skorts. I don't know what that is. I don't know what skorts are. Is that the shorts under? I don't know. Are you sure that's for men or is This it, is for is men, for brother. I'm sorry. Them. This is all for men. So skirts are in for guys. Okay. Tootie, fruity, everything. So what that means is Color your scheme. neon pinks, your neon greens, oh, yeah. tutti fruity, neon blue, light oh, blues, I things mean, like that, all together in the same thing. No. That's what it is. Oh. Tutti fruity, no. everything. I just, one of each. Yeah. Nope. Okay. All right. Long shorts. Oh, they're making a comeback. Below the knees. Below yeah. the knees. Below the knee units. Oh, oh. All black. Oh, yeah. Skode. Was Skode a term back in your high school? Skode? Skode. Goth? Skode? No. Okay, it wasn't ours. Goth. The, the kids under the stairs? They, they were always goth. hung out under the stairs in the mornings before school? Yeah. Ours did. I got a few words troubled, for them. Troubled teens. There you go. That's Troubled the, teens. That's the good human version. <laughs> Over, hey, 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 I was nice to everybody because everybody dipped their toes in the drug pool once in a while. That's so. true. They Even are. Republicans buy shoes, you know? <laughs> um, oversized shirts. Mm, they're back. The old XL white tee units, yep. the XLTs. Like down. So yeah. that's why you need the long the shorts Biebers. to make up yeah, the beebs. Okay. Yep. So, uh, yep. Uh, shirts with holes in them. So you'll just have a big circle hole right here. Hmm. Maybe a little one down there. Okay. So they can see your chest. Uh, slides. Slides, sandals. Sandals, slides yeah. In. Yep. Those well, are. When did those go away? Well, this is just what's hot. Okay. I'm just telling you. Right. You, they're letting you know it's still here. Right, right, right. Varsity coats. Oh. Okay. Yeah. You like those? I do. I got a work one. I got a Minuteman one. And then last but not least, shiny clothing. So anything with a little like glimmer. Like P. Diddy back Not there. necessarily glitter, but glimmer. So like a a, a, a fabric, you know. Oh. That's, That's what's it. hot, dude. You need to get to the Goodwill and start <laughs> dipping. You, now you know. I'd say 95% of that I'm out on. Actually, I think... <laughs> All of it. Well, if that's the problem with today's kids. Like, they're, they're the worst. The, the hair, the the way their pants fit, they want them really tight at the ankle. Yeah. Almost damn near tight all the way up. They want you. They want to show the ladies what's you know, going on. I feel like I envisioned, you know, the jogger. Okay. Back in the day. Mama sweats. Well, I'm always like, I just, these pants are covering, I've always loved shoes. Sure. And. The way that they were designed back in the day wasn't good. Went all over the shoes. You had to put a rubber band. I don't care if the jogger seen leaves. I'll buy enough right now to to wear for the rest of my life. I don't see that. Yeah, I don't see that. Well, every trend always goes away, and that's yeah. fine. But I'm I'll keep it for the rest of my life. Yeah, when you're you gotta show when you're not over six foot tall, life's clothes just aren't made for you. Over okay. six foot, I feel like you got to buy. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like if you buy a pair of pants. Yeah, they're not gonna be cut right. You probably should go get them tailored because they're gonna be. Everything over should the probably shoe. be tailored. You know, a little oh bit. yeah. If only I could afford that. You can, fucking. Well, good, good trends. You like that? Yep. Guy drama. Guy drama. So I I went old school. Oh, let's hear it. I couldn't really. Uh, couldn't figure anything out, huh? Not really. You're digging. Just like <laughs> I, was, I do for Snap, Crackle, Pop, I Culture every week. So yeah. back in the day, a big uh, guy drama piece was David Letterman and Jay Leno. The Tonight Show. 
Yep. So yeah. it was the biggest was feud fucking Trump, in late Trump night history. Yeah. So Johnny Carson, he was on NBC. He was Left. the big the big guy. Yep. Well, Letterman had his own show on NBC. Yep. So everybody thought, bring him on up. Move him up. Nope. That wasn't the case. Jay Leno took over the, the Tonight chair. Show. So Letterman went on over to CBS, yep. started his own show. Thus began the long-standing rivalry known as the Late Night Wars. I believe it. Now they're buds. I think they both have Netflix shows. Uh, well, Letterman does, and it's fucking way left. He's got way a, left. He's got a rowdy Holy beard, smoke. too. Yeah, he's lost it. He's lost his rocker. He's lost That's his right. shit. Yeah. Leno, on the other hand. Short story. Here Big we go. car guy. Was a server at the Minnehaha Cafe. I was at the Minnehaha Cafe at Mystic Lake Casino and Chef. Oh, okay. Okay. So Jay Leno happens to sit down at a table that I was serving at. So I get to serve was he alone? this guy. He was alone. Okay. Okay. Chilling. Eats. Leaves the shittiest tip ever. I think he tipped under 10%. Really? Rev Run comes in. This is months later. Sits down at my table. I get to he and his buddy. Yeah. And they're both. We're both reverends. I know him well. Yeah. Rev. Run DMC. Black man. For yep. all the black man, for you that don't know. Yep. Tip me 100 bucks, and I think his bill was only 20 Good for him. See what I'm saying? Good for you. The black man knows what's up. They do. Power to the people. <laughs> Good for them. Me? Yeah, you're up. I I feel bad, because he was a friend of Twist. He came to the studio. Oh, sat here we down go. I should have expected he this. He sat down Our with only at the in table. studio. For the whole show. Right. When we drafted a fantasy baseball, a football team, yep. he was there. He was there. You know, he was like the lighthouse in the distance. He was there. He was great. He was just there. That was a fun, fun episode. Yep, and you felt like he kind of knew what he was talking about. Obviously, he's a homer, and he's not from here. He's not one of us. Oh, he's uh, from Chicago, right? Chirac. Yep. So he's not one of us. You can tell, and it really came out this week when the Timberwolves won their game. And that night, Lavelle Neal the Third, columnist writer for the Star Tribune, the Trib. Not he's not a beat writer. He's a not columnist more. writer. He is up yep. there. He's a columnist, writer. right? Uh, he decided to say that us as fans for Minnesota were overdoing it, overboard. This is what he said. He was seen on Twitter making fans feel stupid for how they celebrated winning a playoff berth. For those of you that don't know, the Timberwolves have been to the playoffs three times in my lifetime. Yeah. I'm 32 years old. They've been to the playoffs three times. Yep. And it was. And we were overboard for celebrating a W. How can you even say that? Well, and Patrick Beverly's point, too, was look at everything that this state has gone through with the George Floyd and just everything. Like, we just needed a win in life. Yeah. We got a win in basketball. And yeah, so we celebrated. So not only does he say that to the fans, but he also retweets and comments on Paul Allen saying he was going overboard. Everybody. And bring me the news is Joe Nelson, Tiny Joe. (sighs) Both of them. Another fan of the show. So Gleeman, who is the beat writer for the Twins Twins and then does a little bit of Timberwolf shit too. He commented and said, you know, this is a very calmness take. Not a sports fan take. Right. And then Lavelle continued to double down the next day. Did he, people did he say, block you? Nope. Still not blocked. Good. So that's good. But you can definitely tell that he doesn't necessarily want to write in Minnesota anymore. And you can probably see that. How many people buy the paper? How many people knowingly buy the paper? There's a lot of, I'm a, I'm a paper guy. That's fine. That's good. But I'm saying. Like there's certain articles I can't I go to Star, online. I can't go to the Star Tribune online and read his article. I gotta pay. Right. So fuck you. Yeah. On to the next one. So fuck you, Lavelle. I was pretty torn up about it, but uh, you will not be on Barely Human. You will not be invited to my house. <laughs> so thanks. And I don't know how to get guests on here. That's so. okay. All, All right. right. Maybe one Very day good. we'll have Greg on. Now you're gonna get learned here at the end of the show. Yeah. With a did you know? Oh. Yep. <sighs> All right. Einstein brain, Einstein. Yep. Oh, wrong one. Hi, Jamar. Einstein. Einstein's brain was stolen when he died. Nobel Prize winning physicist Albert Einstein passed away 1955. He had specific instructions. Of course he did, yeah. He didn't want his corpse to be worshipped or his brain to be studied. So he instructed those who were responsible for his remains to cremate them. To scatter the ashes yeah. secretly in order to discourage isolators. Right. But 
Thomas Harvey. He had, he had other plans. The p- pathologist on call when Einstein died, he didn't follow the instructions. He stole Albert's yeah, brain. Yeah, you know how much he got for that brain of it? Nope. What? Nothing. He ate it? He was able to keep the brain in two jars in his basement Cut it before moving it to a cider box stashed under a beer cooler. Just so Einstein's brain, a yeah, couple jars. If you don't think it's out there somewhere, you're fucking crazy. Under a beer cooler. That's why, like, you would be surprised. Or even, like, a a, a Hitler's body, you know? Where's it at? Right. Crazy shit, dude. Crazy. There's crazy folks. Crazy. There's some crazy humans out there. There are. Barely. Great show. Great show. You want to see us dance? Let's dance. Barely Human, episode four. That's a wrap. Boom. Boom. <laughs>